hey, Cinema Community, we're here at our local AMC. Just got done seeing the movie Moana 2 in Dolby Cinema. This is our movie review. Rebecca, what'd you think? What can I say but you're not welcome? What can I say except you're welcome? I was not impressed with this one. The movie was only about an hour and a half, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, did it feel really long. You were gone forever. A lot of the songs that I did like on the soundtrack. You gotta, you wanna, it's time to level up. Go show up, go show up. Tell them enough's enough. Go on up, go on up. Go get your destiny didn't really feel like they fit in the musical style of the movie set up by the previous movie. I would say if you haven't seen the first movie, yeah, you can come see it, but honestly, there were so many callback jokes. Well, now I kind of miss the lava monster. I was really glad that I saw the first one, and because it's been so long, I'm glad we saw it one more time. It was three days. Right before seeing the movie. I think the problem with the humor was it was overly reliant on the callback. Can I get a chi hu? There really wasn't that much original humor, and when there was, it just felt like it was for the grown ups. I was really hoping it would be a lot funnier. And like Rebecca said, there were a lot of callbacks. We and Moana, together again. If you didn't see the first one, it may be funny, but I think it really relied on the fact that you'd seen the first one and it was gonna carry the joke a little bit further. A lot of the newer characters, you really didn't get emotionally invested with. I need a crew. Sweet! A farmer on the sea! Yes! I'm going with Moana! <laughs> Purely because there's a short running time. One of the newer characters I did like, but honestly, there's a lot of characters in this genre Eris from Sinbad comes to mind that feel very reminiscent of this character. This definitely wasn't the worst recent Disney movie. My butt found it. But it really wasn't the best either. I'm anxiety. I am just such a huge fan of yours. <laughs> I know there's a lot of hype. Moana 1 did really well in the theaters. What can I say except you're welcome? This one, I get it. It's a sequel. It's probably not going to hit to the level of the first one. That being said, it didn't feel like it even came close in the ballpark for me. Honestly, if you had to ask me, this felt like somebody took the first Moana script and said, hey, let's combine every other Disney direct-to-DVD movie. Return to all the wonder and majesty of Disney's classic masterpiece as the legacy continues. The enchantment of Beauty and the Beast continues. In Belle's Magical World, the special edition release for the first time ever on Disney DVD. Shall we begin? The story continues in an all-new movie. Put your faith in what you most believe in. Two worlds, one family. Starring your favorite characters. Let fate decide to guide these lives. To guide these lives we see and pump out a sequel to an AI engine. This is the result. This movie started off with the theme. It stretched the beginning, it had a clear mission, and it took really too long to get to the end. By the time it got to the end... Bring it on, Coco! What? It's not that I forgot why they were going, where they were going, and what they were doing. I just was losing interest at that point. Rebecca, what do you think? Is it worth a watch? For me, I would say skip it, but if you're invested in Moana's story, go ahead and stream it. Just be prepared for the diminishing returns every time your kid wants to watch it. I think it's worth a watch, but honestly, on streaming, I wouldn't run out to the theaters to go see it. The first one is better, but if you're looking for a kid family fair movie during the holidays, might be worth a watch for you in the theaters. This has been our review of Moana 2. We want to hear from you in the comments. What's your favorite Disney sequel? And if you want to check out some of our other reviews, click the links to the right.